Here's the patio door repair. Now that I've put all the resin filler in and moulded it. So when I paint this, it's going to look like good carpentry and you won't even know that the filler's in there. It's basically like icing a cake. You just put it in and get it as perfect as you possibly can so it doesn't need any kind of sanding or making good once it's cured. Because although it says it can be sanded, it really doesn't like to be sanded. And it just clogs your sandpaper. So when I put it in there, I just square it off to a nice right angle between the framework and the wall and then just paint it. And that's basically it. It just means taking more time when you actually put it in. Don't just throw it in and hope you can sort it out afterwards. Just square it off nicely. So you've got nice right angles between your frame and your wall. And once painted, it will look absolutely perfect. Now even these big gaps here, beautifully squared off. And when the building flexes due to temperature changes, the resin will also flex, it won't crack, unlike other fillers. And here, nicely squared off and rounded and shaped and moulded on the edge, on the corner, because there's a big gap just there, so there's a 